So what you need to do first is go to layer new, adjustment layer, and just cut everything before the shot. And so these are the different effects that you're gonna drag over. You're actually gonna drag over hue and saturation and turbulent displace and CC light burst. So just set everything to zero right now, the amount to zero. Okay, so the first step to this effect is you have to create a mask on the adjustment layer. So you'd go up to this little pen tool and you wanna create a mask of the sky. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna make the mask feathered, which means basically that it'll kind of not be accurate to this line perfectly, just roughly. So I'll just make it all around there. And then what you wanna do is go down to the adjustment layer in this corner, go to masks, and you wanna play with the mask path again. You're gonna to wanna to do the keyframe and then go a little bit in the future. And depending on what you're masking it to, you might not need to actually go down and uh, you know keyframe it but since I'm fitting it to the sky, I want it to stay on the sky this whole time. So I'm going to go a little more to the future, and the sky's not there at this moment in time, so I'm going to go up like that. All right, that's fun. So now to add the actual effect. Oh wait, one more thing. You gotta turn the mask feather up. We might have to adjust this later, but I'm gonna turn it up to 200 for now. So make sure you deselect the pen tool and go up to the normal selection tool. And so right here, first we're gonna do the hue and saturation. So click the keyframe. And just like before, we're just gonna let it change make it all trippy and stuff. You're gonna play with the turbulent displacement. So right here, it's at zero. You wanna keyframe it at zero, right as the shot hits, go a little in the future, maybe like right here, and turn it up to about 40. And then maybe like 60 here. And then on top of that, with Turbulent Displacement, you want to click Evolution at the very beginning and go to the very end and turn it about a full time around. And Light Burst, honestly, you can just turn up to like, we'll say 22, uh, maybe a little more. Uh, well, let's put it at 50. Okay, so the coolest thing about this effect is you can also use it as a transition to the next clip. You want to find the perfect place in your song I'll do like right at this bass drop here. So at the bass drop, you're going to turn the opacity or you're gonna keyframe the opacity from zero to 100. So that's the first step. And then on top of that, you have to play with the mask path of the effect again. So luckily for me, I have the mask keyframed right there and then right about here, I want it to be covering the whole screen. So that way everything is affected by that. And then right about here, I'm gonna to go to transform on the adjustment layer, the thing that's holding the effect. Go to opacity, it's at 100 there. And then I'm gonna go a little ways in the future and turn it to zero. Let's see how it looks.